Namaste everyone, I'm Samarthya from Portsphere. Welcome to day 5 of the happiness series. We are so grateful that you are practicing this particular series with us. You are uh, basically coming onto a mat every single day to practice yoga. So we are extremely happy to know that you are taking out time for yourself, for your own body and mind. So you don't have to master all the poses. If you feel like coming down in any of the poses, you can just come down, relax and get back to the asanas. So once again, do as much as you can and you just have to take it easy throughout the flow. I have designed a particular flow of asanas which we'll be practicing today. So let's see how the body responds to it. I'll be giving you the instructions and we will see how it goes. So let's get started. So we are going to begin from the lying down position today. So let's gently lie down in Shavasan. Let's have a sense of grounding first. You may take a couple of long deep breaths in and out through the nostrils. Let your body relax before the asanas. You may also keep your palms on the chest and on the tummy just to see how your breath is flowing in and out through the nostrils. So with each inhalation, your lungs are getting lifted up towards the ceiling or the sky. And with each exhalation, they are getting dropped towards the floor. And you may gently bring your feet close to the hips. You may bend them, you may fold them and gently place your palms on the floor. See if your middle finger can touch the heels. So that much gap has to be present between the hips and the heels. So let's make sure that our legs are hip width apart. And as you inhale, you may gently lift your body up. You may show, you may roll your shoulders in just a bit and make sure that your knees are in line with the heels. Your glutes are lifted up, your hips are up, thighs are up, along with the middle back. Keep inhaling and exhaling in the pose. And as you exhale, you may gently drop your body down and you may wrap your arms around your thighs just to fold them a bit. Stay over here for a while. And from here itself, you may gently grab your hamstrings, taking the support of your legs you may gently lift your body up to come in the half boat pose. So your shin bones are parallel to the floor, your knees are bent and you are simply holding on to your hamstrings. Let's keep our core muscles engaged. Stay over here for a while and keep smiling throughout the session. And from here itself, you may straighten up the legs to come in the boat. So your arms are stretched out, your eyes are in line with the palms and the toes. And your toes are pointing outwards. Let's keep our knee muscles engaged, our thigh muscles engaged. 
and from here itself you may gently cross your legs to come in the tabletop. So for today's asanas we'll have to basically make our wrists more mobile, more flexible. We'll have to stretch them a bit. We'll have to warm them up. So you may reverse your palms and let's relax our hips on the heels for a while. See if you can uh, keep your elbows completely straight. And from here itself, you may come back to the base position to reverse your palms. So let's reverse our palms and let's relax our hips on the heels. In this position, there's a possibility that the lower part of the palms get lifted up. It's completely okay because right now we are working on the forearm and the wrist. And from here itself, let's gently come back to the center. And from here itself, let's place our feet on the floor to go in the mountain. You may paddle your feet just a bit. And you may push the spine a bit in. And from here itself, you may tilt your feet just a bit in the mountain itself. You will start feeling the stretch on your right side, on the right upper side. You don't have to change the position of the palms. You are just pivoting on, the, on your feet. And from here itself, you may gently twist to the opposite side, on the left side. And you may gently come back to the center to push the spine a bit more in. And from here itself, let's bring our right foot between the palms and you may gently lift your left leg up and place your palms on the floor and the left foot will come on the right side. Let's make sure that the knees are straight and the palms are rested on the floor. You may even place the fingers, not a problem, or the entire palms. You will start feeling the stretch in the entire leg. And from here itself, you may gently switch. So the right foot goes to the left side, whereas the fingers are placed on the floor. Let's keep our knees straight. And from here itself, you may come back in the half a lift. So you're keeping your gaze in front of you while your knees are getting pushed back and your spine is parallel to the floor. And from here itself, you may gently place the palms on the floor and the body will go in the palm plank position. So in this case, the shoulders are stacked right above the wrist and the body is in one flat plane. And from here itself, as you breathe in, let's gently lift the right leg up and stay there for a while. Keep inhaling and exhaling with a big smile. And you may gently drop your body down in Chaturanga while keeping your right leg up. And you may gently lift your upper body up and you may lift the left leg up and stay there for a while. And as you exhale, the body goes down.
And as you inhale, the body comes up and the left leg comes down. And the body will go back in the mountain. And let's come back in the palm plank. And you may gently drop your body down to come in the upward facing dog. And let's keep our gaze up 45 degrees up. So in this case, the thighs knees nothing should be on the floor and your shoulders are right above the wrist whereas the outer part of your toes they are on the floor and from here itself you may place your knees to stretch your arms in front of you And you may gently come back and let's place our right leg in front of us. So you may place your palms by your side. Just try to make sure that your knee is completely straight. So it should not be bent like this. So you're basically pushing the knee towards the floor as you bend down from your upper body. Let's come up and this time the toes they are pointing towards us and once again we'll be repeating because the position of the toes will completely change how you feel in the pose so initially they were pointing outwards towards the floor now they are pointing towards us so you may gently go down you will feel a stronger stretch around the hamstrings And let's come back and let's place our palms in front next to the right foot. You may adjust your back knee, back toes. And let's push the pelvic region towards the floor. And from here itself, place your left toes on the floor and the right leg will go in the mountain. And gently bring the left foot between the palms, relax your back knee on the floor, relax your toes, place your palms next to your knee, close to the knee and you may gently straighten up the left leg and bend forward. And as you inhale, you may lift your body up and point the toes towards you. And as you exhale, let's bend forward. And as you inhale, you may come back and let's place the palms in front of us in the equestrian. And let's look up and keep pushing the pelvic region towards the floor. And from here itself, once again, let's take the knees on the floor and this time the arms will come by the side. And you may gently come up and from here itself, let's come in the squat position. So for a while, I'll be speaking like this. And in fact, this is one of the best positions out there. So in the earlier times, in the ancient times, we used to sit like this. And now because of the invention of the chairs, 
amazing invention. We have forgotten how to sit like this. So this will help you engage your ankles, your feet, your knees, your groin region, your entire spine. So in this case, if you have any kind of body issues, so you can relax in Sukhasan or the easy pose or the cross-legged position. And those people who can do it, you can may sit like this for a while. So every day, take out time for yourself. And after a long, long day, you can sit like this just to relax and uh, basically strengthen the entire body. So initially, it might be a little difficult. And, uh, and I hope you're not thinking that why is he speaking so much in this pose? So <laughs> I won't take much time. So you must take out time to sit in the squat position or the yogic squat position. And let's take a couple of long deep breaths in and out through the nostrils before we come back in Sukhasan. And from here itself, let's place our palms on the floor to come back in the cross-legged position. So, thank you so much for, you know, practicing yoga with me on this YouTube channel. So, uh, we are extremely grateful, uh, you know, you, that you are taking out time for yourself and uh, you are following us on Instagram or on YouTube or on Facebook. So please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, you can um, drop your comments or if you have any kind of queries or any questions that you are uh, looking for, I mean the answers that you are looking for, you can just drop the comments in the comment section below and we are extremely quick in answering all the queries. So uh, we hope to see you tomorrow, everyone, in the next video. Till then, keep moving, keep stretching, keep smiling, and just have a very wonderful day. Namaste, everyone.